Hi, Pastor Fred. I think today's sermon is very appropriate. I've had several of you talk with me about grief and loss of different things in life. Today's sermon is titled, Grief is Good, But Fear is Not. When people go through loss, there are always two common reactions. One is fear, and the other is grief. Grief is good. Grief is the way we get through the transitions of life. In fact, if you don't grieve, you will get stuck. Did you catch that? If you don't grieve, you'll get stuck. Grief will not kill you if you let it out. On the other hand, fear is a bad thing. Not once in the Bible does it say, grieve not, sorrow not, weep not, or cry not. What does it say? It does say, fear not. How about this? It says it 365 times. That's one day a week for a year. Because grief doesn't paralyze. Fear does. David says in Psalms 23:4, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Right now, some of you are going through the valley of the shadow right now. Maybe the valley of the shadow of death. Or it could be really the death of a close person, child, spouse, parent, friend, etc. I want to say this. Please call me to talk with me, particularly if you've gone through the death of someone. Please don't close up yourself and isolate yourself. Because that's what this opioid monster wants you to do. Our addiction already makes you feel alone. And again, death will compound our feelings of being alone unless you don't go through the stages of grief. And we can talk about those again at another time. This verse reminds me to think of something I lost that puts me in the valley of the shadow of death. It may not be physical death. Because see, we get mixed up sometimes when we lose something. For example, it may be the valley of the shadow of debt. It may be the valley of the shadow of conflict. It may be the valley of the shadow of depression. It may be the valley of the shadow of discouragement. And guess what? Shadows are scary. Remember how you used to be afraid of shadows when you were lying in bed as a kid? I did. I had a tree outside my window, big old elm tree, and it died. And all through the year, it looked like hands crawling across the sh of my walls, like you know, the shadow hands. Well, anyway, I've learned a few things about shadows. Guess what? First, shadows can't hurt you. And here's the good news. Whenever there's a shadow, there has to be a light. Guess what? I could take my flashlight under my pillow and shine it on my wall, and guess what happened to the hand? It disappeared. Well, you can't have a shadow without light. So the key when you're going through the valley of the shadow is to turn your back on the shadow and look at the light. Think about that. Because as long as you keep your eyes on the light, what? Jesus, the light of the world, the shadow won't scare you. Let me say that again. Jesus is your light. He's the light of the world. And if you have the light, you can't see the shadow. And that's how you go through the valley of the shadow of death. And that's how you lower your stress also. You trust God in your valley. Well, let's pray. God, we are so thankful that while we're in these different shadows, and we recognize the one that we think of most all the time is the shadow of death, but we recognize there's so many other shadows. It could be shadow of death. It could be the shadow of just simply losing a job, the shadow of losing anything. But yet we remember, just like as a child, when we see the shadows on our walls, all we have to do literally is shine a flashlight on it. And we know you are that light. And we're thankful for the light that you give us and walk with us during these dark days. It's like walking on the path. You can walk in a path in the dark and you'll trip up.
But if you turn the flashlight on, you can just keep walking all along. And we recognize that's the way it is in life. As we go through these stages and we grieve, we realize that in our darkness, you're beside us and you are our flashlight. In your name we pray. Amen. All right. Seriously, if you're going through anything, severe loss or grieving or anything, give me a call. That's what we're here for. And I look forward to hearing from you from that standpoint. You're not alone. But for now, I hope every one of you have a great weekend. And from all of us at Start Butte, and I'm Pastor Fred. Have a great weekend. And goodbye. Bye-bye.